just came up the hill, came back to the spot where we found that big stump of petrified wood and the other piece of whatever it is with the crystals, like Ruth just found some. And we came back to see if we could collect some specimens. We were noticing that this stuff, and I'm pretty sure it is wood, uh, this just got bad cellular replacement, but not only does it have the crystals in it, but it's got streams of blue chalcedony and a couple of pieces, uh, I'll put some pictures up right here, that we got before. You can see it's like a druzy quartz with the blue chalcedony underneath it, which makes the crystals look beautifully blue. That's awesome. So I'm gonna chip on this a little bit. Some of these pieces up front, not so good, but there's a little more agatization up here. And uh, we'll see. And I found one little piece that had some crystals in it. That's, that would be the best, petrified wood with crystals. So we'll chip at some of this and see what happens. All right, we've got a couple of, I always say all right. So we chipped a couple of specimens out from the core. This one definitely has some, some agatization in there, some crystallization, and it is heavy. So it's solid. You can see on the end there, some good grain replacement various colors. Look at the colors on the side there. See the colors in there? Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll show. And Ruth's got another piece, smaller piece. I think you can see the sparkling in there. So we'll take those as some specimens. We can always come back to this spot. Right, Russ? Where you going, buddy? I need you to dig. We're going to go get dig out some of the second rock. Okay, let's go. That is the blue rock that I've been chipping on. We call it the blue rock because there's bands of blue chalcedony running through it. We tired Rusty out. Show you some of the things we got, some of the smaller specimens. Let's see if I get that to focus. There you go, you can see there's bands of, there we go. Bands of blue running through there. This side's got a little pocket the druzy quartz in there what else you got oh this is a pretty neat specimen just sparkles like crazy little micro specimen and then we got one of these larger pieces russ you're bumping me around i don't know if you can see that that whole thing is sparkling with a deep blue color underneath it and there's blue here and veins of blue running all through both sides. You can see it goes all the way through. And various quartz formations, pretty cool. There you go. And then there's this one. We decided this one needs to go because it is absolutely full of pockets of crystals blue chalcedony with pockets of crystals it sparkles and then got some deep areas in here once they're cleaned out so this can be cut up i don't know but ruth thought there are so many specimens potential in here with the blue and the the clear crystal with the blue backing. That'd be fun, that whole corner right there is sparkly. It's prettier than it looks in the camera. But that's normal, that's what they all say. So we just gotta get it down there. Do we roll it? No, we'll put, we'll put this here and not there. I think, I think it'll go in there. Yeah, it'll go in there. Dog that should be behind, waiting behind. Yes. We 
head across this beautiful meadow. Look at this. It's gorgeous. We went back to this location to get a few more specimens from the rocks that we found there. And boy, did we get some nice ones. I cut one of the pieces open to see what was inside and look at that. And you can see this definitely was a piece of wood that has now been petrified, agatized, and crystallized. Here's that big chunk after a good pressure wash. This is what I would call the bottom, but it's actually the center of the log. Here's the top of this piece. I don't know if you can kind of see, it's got the rays coming this way. So the growth rings would be going this way. So this is, we're looking at the end grain with the center of the, the stump being probably about here. But that, <laughs> those, those little streams of blue chalcedony are gorgeous. Now let's look and see if I can move it to see the top and you can see there's just pockets of blue crystals I don't think the crystals themselves are blue they just look blue because of the streams of chalcedony underneath this whole area over here just this is it all sparkles it's beautiful so for now it's going to be in my shop and I'm just gonna look at it. Someday I'll decide what I'm gonna do, all right? I just decided to weigh this on the bathroom scale and it came out to 24 pounds. It is solid. Here's a few close-up pictures of some of the pieces we got. Next time, I hope you find delight in the beauty of creation around you. Mm -hmm.